Hey guys, it's SoFlo Josh, and I'm over here at Doral Acura to film this 2025 Acura RDX A spec for y'all. With that being said, let's go ahead and get out to the exterior and let's check out the enhancements that Acura has done for the RDX. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to Doral Acura for allowing me to film this vehicle. Uh, as always, make sure to go ahead and contact Jose Borges. He'll be able to assist you into getting an Acura today. Now, this is the second time that Acura has done a refresh for the RDX. And quite honestly, I like the little enhancements that they've done for this model. Up at the front, the major change is actually the Pentagon style finish for the grille. This is now frameless instead of it being a two-piece style like it was before with the refresh. We first saw that in the Integra and then they started adding it throughout the whole lineup. It's a lot more open, more airflow, uh, down in here so it can go straight into that intake system and then down below we do still have more airflow into that intercooler for that turbocharged engine on the side we have the amazing jewel eye headlight system that looks really really good i still like these headlights i think they look the most aggressive out of the bunch within this uh, segment it looks really nice you know it's an accurate whenever it's coming down the road Unlike BMWs where they've had so much different changes in designs, uh, this actually stays true to the design elements of what Acura provides for every other vehicle and its lineup. As you see, we do have a turn signal in amber at the top, and then down below, we do have your chicane style finish for the DRLs, dual eye section. These three beams right here are gonna be your high beam assist. And then over here to the side, as you can see, we do have some air intake around the wheel section which is really good another thing that acura has is that we have fog lights for the a spec model now unlike other brands they started to get rid of fog lights well acura is still continuing to offer that which i'm very very happy to see we do have some more of that gloss black finish with body cladding as well for this a spec now if you go for the a spec advance i believe they are uh gloss black completely around the bottom section for this vehicle now let's go ahead and talk about the hood really quick as you see we still have the exact same body lines that we've seen since the inception of this generation of the rdx and i quite like it it's very aggressive nice bulge to it the thin lines make it seem very very aggressive and then over here to the side we have really really nice gunmetal gray finish rims over here um they look fantastic these are 20 inch rims and they have a lot of openness to it so it's actually going to be easier to clean your rims especially with brake dust and so on and so forth this is going to be fantastic got the ace back badge right there you can get this blacked out if you choose the blacked out appearance uh, badging as well down here we do have more of that gloss black uh, along the bottom side of the door section with body cladding as well looks really good and then we have a turn signal section right here that is finished in amber we do get your safety sense over there inside of the vehicle for your blind spot detection as well and i have to say when it comes to the side profile of the rdx it is still one of the best side profiles in this segment and the reason why i say that is because we have so many sharp lines we have a line that starts up here at the very end of the section of the front headlight system as well as around the wheel well and then we have one that carries on through the door handle and then tapers off at the back tail lights i just love the aggressive look to the rdx as you see we have more of that gloss black wrap around with the a spec package which is standard and then getting back here as you see we do have led tail lights now they're not full LED. We do have an incandescent tail light, which I'm hoping that Acura changes that for the next generation of the RDX. A spec badge right there. And then you do have your reverse lights right here. And then your brake lights are actually right underneath here, which is really good. Dual exhaust tips are still standard. No matter which trim you get, you have dual exhaust tips. I just reviewed the uh, BMW X3, the next generation X3, the G45. And let me tell you something, the only way you can get exhaust tips is through the M Performance ones. The base ones with the four cylinder, you can't even get exhaust tips. So really good to see that Acura still provides that. Over here in the middle section, we do have a rear diffuser finished in gloss black. And then we have more of that black plastic cladding all in all. Super handling all wheel drive is also another thing standard 
within the whole entire model lineup, which I'm very, very happy from the vase all the way to the A-Spec Advance trim. Really good to see. Got that Acura badge right there. Windshield wiper. I kind of wish it was tucked under here, but you know what? It is what it is. Another addition is that we have a windshield, uh, a rear camera uh, washer fluid there. So we can go ahead and clean your rear camera whenever you are cleaning the rear uh, window right here. Let's go ahead and get into the trunk area. And now getting into the trunk area, as you can see, it's a ton of space. Now this is even bigger than what I just reviewed of the X3. And I think it's actually class leading within its segment right now. It has so much space in it. You have a ton of places to put things. You've got a cubby over here off to the side. you got this little hidden compartment where you could put stuff in here. And then if you fold this up and you fold this forward like that, as you can see, you do have more cubby space and you have your tire mobility kit over here off to the side, which is really nice. And everything closes down nice and sturdy. You know, it's an actual great product when everything is shutting in place correctly. You can hear that nice hard click. We got a subwoofer back here for the ELS Studio 3D system. And then we do have some handles over here to the back to go ahead and release the rear seat area. Speaking about that, let's go ahead and get into the rear seat section. By the way, rear proximity door handles. Really happy to see that. BMW completely got rid of that, but Acura still offers that. Getting into the rear section, touching this door panel, soft padding up at the top. We have a nice micro uh, suede Alcantara style finish with some white stitching all along. And then we have here this ivory interior color as well with the black stitching, which is really, really nice. As you can see, folding down the rear seats, we have a ton of space. Now, the good thing is there's only just a tiny, tiny little hump that tapers upward for the rear seats. But nonetheless, this is fantastic to put things in. Another great thing is that unlike other brands, they require you to only have to come into the cargo, the actual rear seat area to fold down the, uh, the seats. So you have two different options. You can either fold it from the back trunk or you can fold it over here, which is something that other brands completely got rid of let's go ahead and get into the interior really quick and let's sit behind myself now six foot tall this is exactly where i had my seat whenever i'm driving and a seat is as low as it can go and let me tell you something my feet are not getting squished by this front seat which is really really good sitting back here feels fantastic uh the seats feel great uh, very plush around the side sections the middle and in the back so that means that anybody sitting back here if you have kids or anything like that they are going to and love sitting back here we do have rear cup holder areas pretty large cup holders to fit you know a juice box or anything else like i said nice door panels we do have some more pockets right there as well and then we have speaker system for the els studio 3d system you got your led matte lights right there looks really nice panoramic sunroof gonna add a lot of you know lighting into the greenhouse of this vehicle and let me tell you something sitting back here up tall at six foot tall let me tell it, it i don't hit the you know um the roof whatsoever i have probably about maybe 0.5 inches left which honestly i think is great i think it's great that you know as a six foot tall person you're gonna sit comfortably back here even with the panoramic sunroof being back here rear vents two usb type c's really happy to see that they have rear vents in this vehicle and the way the door opens is actually pretty good i think it has enough space to go ahead and fit the child seats we do have the isofix right here as well now let's go ahead and get into the front seat section i have what you expect is soft padding as well and we have that micro suede and then we have some nice texturized finish for this aluminum section right here it looks really good got your door handle and an els studio 3d system window switch gear and yeah um we do have the presets for your driver's seats getting into the interior we also do have your blind spot detection section right there and sitting in these seats feel great these are powered seats as i said they have four-way lumbar control and it feels really good they hug you really good around your upper uh, side sections 
the steering wheel feels nice the placement of it uh it is not power operated so you have to do everything manually but sometimes doing things manually is actually a little better than doing that of power operation even though the mdx that i did <laughs> that motor was extremely fast for uh power operation um steering wheel wise we have your presets over here for your media control and then we have all your safety stuff as well as your cruise control over here off to the side we do have that system where you take your hands off the steering wheel and it will guide you in the lines when you have cruise control on or off actually i have that in my hrv which is fantastic it's a great feature over here we have a 10.2 inch uh, screen display now this is the precision screen so that means that everything's going to be controlled over here by a touchpad this is a one-to-one -one, uh, style for the touchpad um, they have not changed it even though the mdx did get the um the new touchscreen acura did not put that same exact touchscreen with the google system in this vehicle so that's the only downside i have is actually that now for the center console area they changed this section here so now the wireless charger is a lot better to access so you can wirelessly charge your phone we have two cup holders and as you can see right here a 30 ounce bottle water fits very very good right there it actually hugs it in place perfectly if you try putting it in that one it's actually not going to fit over here soft padding for this center armrest section and in opening it we do have a lot of space in there with a usb as well down there we do have more uh, outlets we got a 12 volt and then on the other side we have a usb type c you do have a hotkey for your auto um, start stop uh, section which i'm really happy to see we have that not embedded into the screen you got your shifter right here for that 10 speed automatic transmission and then you have your dry, your dynamic drive modes you got snow comfort normal and then sport over here so you don't have an individual mode you only get those few sections we got heated and ventilated seats that are standard within the a spec model really good to see that we have an auto part as well so that means that if it needs to it can switch on the uh, seats to warm or cooled which is really good hot keys for your climate control really nice to see that we have everything here everything is just here it's physical buttons which i'm really happy to see we got a volume knob your emergency parking uh brakes right there or lights i should say really nice and also i gotta say this start button finishing the aluminum as well feels really really good i like the red glow whenever you get into the vehicle aluminum pedals as well as well as the aluminum dead pedal right here off to the side overall it's really nice you have a ton of space down here to fit a purse or any other snacks anything like that alcantara over here off to the top of the dashboard and then we have soft padding as well with your speaker system now opening up here in the glove compartment as you can see it is damped uh, but it's not lined with felt we got a two shelf style finish for it it does have a, a halogen style finish for uh, the lighting in there which wish it was led honestly we do have ambient lighting over here underneath the door section as well as ambient lighting within the els 3d studio system right here and underneath here as well gauge cluster wise we have analog gauges which a lot of car companies have gone to the digital gauge cluster because there's more custom uh, customization but honestly i like the way that this looks uh, i really do like the white or silver finish to it with the red accents especially at night it looks really good and in that center section right there you can go ahead and change a bunch of things um safety sense and other stuff or you could just put the speed limit of where you're currently going i really like it you know it's a small seven inch uh display you got a turbo boost gauge over there you have your acceleration as well uh, and you do have the notification to let you know if all your safety sense are activated over here all in all feels really good in here tons of headroom space i feel very very comfortable els studio 3d up here at the top speakers on the front and the rear really nice now let's go ahead and get underneath the hood we have the awesome 2.0 turbo four cylinder this one produces 272 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque straight through a 10 speed automatic transmission now 
I have to say, I've always been a huge fan of this engine ever since it first came out. I like the way that it feels. The power delivery is great. And now that we finally get all wheel drive as standard, which should have been from the get go, uh, you got to think about it for a second. That's going to be really good to put down the power. Now let's go ahead and take this puppy off. For all right, so let's go ahead and take this vehicle off for drive, pressing it into drive. Very straightforward. Let's go ahead and see how it is when it comes to the turning radius. Put it a little bit of gas. As you can see, it's not too bad. Uh, it takes one whole lane, as in parking uh, area, to go ahead and fully turn around. And honestly, Hondas and Acuras have always had a very crisp and sharp turning radius, which is fantastic. You know, you've always wanted to have that, especially when you're doing those U-turns at a light. You've always wanted to have some uh, sharpness all in all. Now, for 2025, like I said, little minor enhancements to uh, the vehicle all in all. And one of the enhancements that's actually done is added more sound deadening to this vehicle. So there's more sound deadening to the firewall. There's more sound deadening to the wheel well section. And I'm really happy to report that I was actually in a 24 and I got into this vehicle and there is a difference within the two when it comes to the you know intrusion of sound and especially when it comes to the engine we'll go ahead and talk about that now when we put the vehicle into sport mode I feel a major difference when it comes to sound there's not as much NVH system or uh, added intrusion from the exterior of the vehicle now I do have the panoramic system uh, closed right now so we're gonna put it into sport mode really quick and we're gonna put it into S and we're gonna see how this puppy drives really really good this 2.0 turbo four-cylinder feels fantastic it's a get up and go they've changed a lot and I have to say one thing I've noticed right off the bat is the shifting of this vehicle and the reason why I say that is because when I drove the 2022 when they first launched the 2022 whenever you would shift it there would be a huge lag between when you press the, the actual paddle and it would go into the gear with this one it's a lot different it's instant it's instant it, it, it is faster than it used to be and that's a really really good thing because that was one of my complaints about the RDX when I drove it I just felt like they did not do a good job with the 10 speed automatic transmission but I'm happy to report that they actually changed it and it feels great it feels great so let's go ahead and put it into comfort mode and let's talk about the suspension really quick now as far as suspension um, I haven't noticed uh, a change at all but it feels good there isn't a lot of intrusion we have an independent rear suspension you know we got the regular suspension up at the front they're not the double wishbone suspension that we see in the um, TLX as well as the MDX no that's a little bit different this vehicle is is tuned differently it's not those vehicles they didn't make it uh, with the double wishbone in mind when they produced that vehicle but I have to say whenever you're going over bumps not a lot of intrusion not a lot of body swivel whenever you're going over those potholes or anything like that it feels really good i have to say i'm very very impressed with the way that acura has uh tuned this suspension compared to that of what you feel in the competition some of the competition um actually has a harsher suspension and you know those competition like competitors like the x3 the audi uh, q5 and so on and so forth they're like luxury sportiness but i have to say they're they there's nothing too luxury about the, the way the suspension feels it's a little too harsh for my liking personally and i i think that this uh this vehicle all in all feels great when it comes to suspension now um visibility wise i it's fantastic large windows on the side rear passenger area um as well as the rear view mirror right over here you can see you have a lot of way to look out of that rear view mirror and i like the way it looks the front windshield it kind of tapers uh you know comes back a little bit but it's very very good i like the way it looks honestly really really great car i uh i think this is one of you know 
in its segment uh, it still holds a place near and dear to my heart um, I think it's one of the best looking out of the segment right now um, even though the competition is changing their generations already and so on and so forth I feel like this has the amount of aggressiveness that it needs for the segment it has the amount of space it has more rear legroom space than you find in that competition like an x3 or uh the audi q5 and I'm, I'm very very impressed by it i'm very very impressed by it let's go ahead and head back over there and let's wrap up this all right so let's go ahead and turn off the vehicle let's get out to the exterior and let me give you my final impressions of the 2025 rdx overall the enhancements they've done with the front grille uh the center console area and then the added uh insulation to this vehicle i think they've done a great job to this day like i said on the drive it's one of my favorite styled vehicles within the category i think it looks aggressive you know it's an acura whenever it's approaching you from the opposite way the looks look fantastic um, the interior i have to say the seats feel really good you know you enter it and the seat already pulls itself back when you shut out the vehicle the seats also pull, pull back you get a ton and i mean a ton of legroom space back here to add stuff in even that baby seat that you need to go ahead and add in if you're a new uh, family you get a lot of trunk space as well with a lot of hidden compartment space and you get that fantastic 2.0 turbo four cylinder that's underneath the hood and all wheel drive standard now no matter what trim level you get that being said guys thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace